Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where the gnomes live. This is Sharon Oyella, and today I'm giving you a quick update on my stackable gnome home. I now have the moles home almost finished, so this is the underground that you're looking with the roots sticking out. And what I've decided to do is um, give you just a, a quick look at the house and the progress that I've made. Uh, so this on this side is uh, what you'd call underground, and this side here is a pantry, and on the other side of that is the kitchen. These are roots that I put in, and all of this has been filmed for you, and that will be uploaded after the holidays. Um, on this side here is another little uh, storage area that I made. Um, there's the chimney inside here. This is the moles chimney, and I made it in a way that I can remove it and add fire, change batteries, all that kind of stuff. And then the rest of that area is going to be storage for like Christmas decorations for the year. So what I've decided to do today is decorate the living room for the mole. Okay, so I'm going to use a bottle brush. This is from the dollar store. This is a tiny one that I had on hand. I forgot to show the other one that I actually used, which is this one here. Just bought it at the dollar store for like a $2 for two of them. And then I cover it with uh, fake tree branches, which I'm going to show you here in a second. This is one of those fake mini trees that I found in a thrift store. So I'm going to use the branches off of that. I'm going to uh, fill up the bottle brush with the branches and make myself a little Christmas tree. Okay, and I also use some red fabric and some yarn, hot glue, some pliers to cut the branches. And in here is a tin that my sister-in-law just gifted me not too long ago, full of miniature Christmas stuff. So I don't know where she got any of these things. Some of them are quite old. Uh, there's little miniature plastic decorations there. And I'm going to use some of this stuff to decorate the tree. And I have to say before we get started that this is not my idea. This is something I learned many, many years ago, and I believe I saw it online somewhere back in like 2010 or 11 or something like that. All right, so I start by just getting a little pile of branches for the bottom of the tree. So the very bottom of my tree is going to be, these are probably about two and a half, three inches long. So a little pile there to get me started. And I hot glue the, the end and then just shove that end into the uh, bottle brush near the bottom, not completely at the bottom, of course, because you need a little bit of the brush underneath to hold it up. And I actually don't overcrowd these at all. I'll show you in a second here. There's one row done, the very bottom row, and you can see they're not crowded in there. So the second row, I'm going to start in between these two, I just pointed to them, and just above them. And that seemed to work out really well for me. So the next one, again, will go in between two and just above them. And there's three rows done. And you can see there's no overcrowding here at all. It works out really well. Really easy little craft project. And they gradually get shorter as you work your way up to the top. And then when I have about a quarter inch or half an inch left at the very top, um, this little piece here, I'm going to glue going vertical. So I'm going to do one in the very front. And then once that one's done, I'll turn it around and I'll put one on the back. So the tip of the tree, the, uh, the tip of the bottle brush tree, is sandwiched in between two of those branches that I cut. So you can't see it. And it gives me a nice tree top. And there we go. It's all done, ready for decorating. And I forgot to show this in its package, and the package is already gone, but I got this at the dollar store. It's just a string of micro dots, they're called, and the bottom is one of those flat batteries, and you twist the bottom and it turns it off and on. So I'm going to put in one of these garlands. I found that to be enough. Just wrap it around like you would a regular tree. And this little string of mini pearls, again, just going to wrap that around. And these little tiny candy canes, um, I've seen these around before. I don't really like them that much because they're so tiny. But anyway, I did put them on. And these are uh, crafting um, beads, I, I guess you call them, like for hollies, for holly trees. 
Um, they come with their own wire, so I just cut a few off and use them as little Christmas bulbs. You could do the same if you got actual beads and just put a wire through them. And this is a, a string of snowflakes, so snowflake garland, and I thought that would make a nice topper, but I didn't have a way to attach it. So I'm just going to use a piece of wire off one of those uh, red balls there, and I'll go in from the back and then wrap it over the front and go back to the back again. And then I'm going to twist it so the wire stays put. And cut off that little bulb. And there we go. A nice little stem there I can attach to the tree. And I did add a couple of those little plastic um, pieces as well. So for the under the tree, this is what I do in my actual house. I always have a tree skirt that it sits on. So I'm going to make one. I just cut a circle using one of the tin lids there as a guide. Uh, traced it out and then cut it out. And I'm lining it or edging it with a piece of yarn, kind of like fuzzy yarn. And then I realized I like the underside better than the top side. Looked a little neater, so I'm gonna use that. Put that in place, put on my tree, this looks so pretty. And here's a couple of chairs that I made many years ago. Um, this one, I'm just admiring the wonkiness of it. <laughs> it's made with foil, masking tape, and paper towel and fabric but I chose to use the leather chair that I made. And one, one of these days I'll get those on YouTube for you. And just gonna decorate the fire mantle there. This was really cute, a uh, little candle. And this is a little locket that has a picture of my parents in there. So my dad, when he was 10 and my mom when she was five, I just thought I'd add a little personal touch there. And I found a little radio. I thought the mole could listen to Christmas music as he's decorating his tree. And then I decided I wanted a couple of stockings for above the mantle there. So I just folded a piece of red fabric and I'm just cutting out, there's no pattern. I'm just cutting out a, shock, a sock shape. <laughs> and I'll use hot glue, hot glue along the one edge just to close it up because I do want to fill these. So I want the top to stay open. Then I decided to edge it the same way I did the tree skirt. And I just put a paintbrush in there so I could open it up because I do want to put some stuff in there. But first I want to make a little uh, hanging piece. So same fabric, just cut a little strip using hot glue to assemble this. And these are pins with really small heads on them. Uh, actually came to me in my grandma's sewing box, so I don't know where she got them from, but All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, guys, and decorating this little room with me. It was a lot of fun. And shortly after Christmas, I'm going to back everything up, and you're going to see how I actually built the room itself and the roots around it. But I just wanted to get Mole into his living room in time for Christmas. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your holidays, and we'll see you super soon.